So first thing is that you can see your draw shoulders coming up as you lift the bow. Um, meanwhile your uh, draw elbow is staying resolutely low so you're beginning to be out of line even at this point. Your bow side is also dipping in so your bow side shoulder is dipping low. Let's carry on. Also you're sticking your tongue out. <laughs> Good luck. So if we just go back a couple frames there. Come on. Sorry about this, my computer finds it really difficult. Okay, so here we can see um, what the alignment should be. So I've taken a line drawn through the arrow and your draw elbow really should be up on this line at this point in the pre-draw sequence to stop you overloading the rotator cuff and to actually load your bicep and your deltoid instead. Um, so, you know, as you can see, draw side basically is high, bow side is basically low, opposite way around with your elbow. Carry on. So you can see as you continue to raise that your draw elbow is coming on to the correct line but your shoulder misalignment um, continues so your, your draw side stays high, your bow side is staying low. That flips the opposite way with the elbow as you raise up. So you're drawing the bow back here on the bicep and your elbow is coming really, really high. I'm going to slow that down and take it back through the those little alignment sequences so you can see what I mean. Let's go to the first one. Okay, so at this point, um, you've completed the raise and your elbow has gone from too low to far too high and it gets higher as the draw continues. Um, the draw side shoulder is still high though and it, it's kind of set up the high elbow. Uh, let's slow this down so... Okay. That's the completion of the raise. Look at the draw elbow coming higher. This green line that you're being shown here is the line of the arrow just for reference and these blue dots are showing you where the height should be so that middle blue dot is where your elbow height should be and the left blue marker is where the draw shoulder should be so draw side elbow and shoulder are high. As you draw back here um, because your elbow is so high most of this work is being done on the, on the rotator cuff like I mentioned earlier this is the most extreme point of misalignment. Uh, the only muscle that can be pulling the bow back at this point is the rotator cuff, which is obviously kind of small muscles and they're not really up to this job. Again, the green lines are just for reference. The upper one is for the arrow line and the bottom one is for your bow arm straight line. See this motion of the draw here, that's all rotator cuff, that's not deltoid, that's not bicep, the elbow is far too high for either of those to be working. Okay, as we come into uh, full draw, I want you to notice how much your hand is stretching out. Um, take it back a bit, it starts about halfway uh, through the draw process, but it's getting more extreme at this point. See how your, ha your hand gets longer and longer, your fingers really stretch out. You can see the little finger under tension start to curl up. Now your position at the start for the string hand was really good at the setup, but it's been stretched out by this point because you've not kept your hand in the correct position. You've not kept quite enough tension in the fingers to maintain that gentle curl that you had at the start. Um, because the hand is so stretched out, as you can see on the um, magnified section of the video, it's really messing with your um, reference. So you've you've kind of crept above the jawline because the hand is high, the string's not actually coming onto the nose. And as you can see from your ring finger, there's you can see the, the kind of tension in that stretched out hand that's desperately trying to keep hold of the string. The, the bottom of that ring finger, pad of that ring finger, you can see it's actually white. Um, it's clinging on for, for dear life there. Full draw position, your rear elbow is still high 
and you've loaded up your rotator cuff and you've kind of, as a result, locked down a bit on the shoulder. So you've not really got anywhere to go with the release at this point. Uh, you've no movement left. So we'll just keep flicking on so you can see your release. Here we hit properly full draw. See how stretched out the hand is and how above the jawline it's become. Okay, we're coming up on the loose now. Keep your eyes on the close up so you can see what happens with the fingers. See them open and drop down. So it's essentially a, a forward loose there and they flick open again. That's betraying the tension in the hand. Your head is moving forwards. Your, sh your shoulder's kind of rotating over the top rather than your shoulder blade pulling towards your spine. That's natural given the setup, given the elbow height at the setup. Couldn't really load the rhomboids at the start. Front end, by the way, in all of this is good. You don't need to worry about the front end, but we need to do some work on that back end to mean that you can actually get off the string properly see where your hand ends up um, with that twist that betrays how you got off the string with a, with a twist of the fingers off. So um, everything that, that's making your shot difficult, I think, uh, looking at this, comes from this uh, position right at the start with the elbow too low, becoming okay, and then becoming far too high. And it's this height uh, that's really messing up your ability to load up the correct muscles, first the deltoid, then the rhomboid in the back. Now, I know you were getting it on some shots, um, but I don't know to what extent this this uh, video is, is shown as what your kind of tired form is like. So we need to have a little chat about how to, to fix it. But essentially, we need to bring that draw elbow um, into line on the setup and maintain it in line as you draw. So it needs to be on that green line in this image rather than up there. I'll show you what I mean when we next meet, uh, but give me a buzz if you've got any questions about this video. Okay, bye.